Hello everybody, Red Diamond Suo back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Soul Snack video. Cop forces himself inside black handicapped girls' home. Um, this video was requested, guys. Let's get into it. You don't have a warrant. You can't come in here. Hey, honey. How was your job? <laughs> it was good, but it sure is hot. I wonder what she has that uh, made her have to be in a wheelchair or what happened or something. Out there. I'm going to have to start my run much sooner from now. Otherwise, I'm going to end up melting out there. <laughs> well, uh, do you think you can take me to the mall later? Yeah, sure. Did you finish your homework already? <sighs> Dad. Remember, I'm in summer. Oh, yeah, that's right. I keep on forgetting. All right, I'll go take me a shower, and when I'm done, I'll bring you, okay? Great. Thanks, Dad. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Unit 39584. Yes, yeah, Sergeant Green here. Sarge, we just received a call from a local neighbor. We have a possible home burglary in progress. Suspect is about 5'10", African-American, and the address is 438 Mango Avenue. Well, I'm just a few blocks south of there. I'm on my way. 10 -4. Be careful, Sarge. Always. Over and out. So what if he tries to get in the wrong house? What if the that house he goes to is like the wrong house he you know like he not doing what he's really supposed to be told who's that how you know is that house he just snooping around they could do that go Man, they can't do that. Go on your property like that. Just be snooping around. You gotta make sure that's the house first. Are this, is this the address they gave me? What is the police doing here? Hello, may I help you? What the he ain't see her uh, in the house. He looking through the, that same window and he ain't see her. The hell are you? Uh, I'm Lisa. The what the you? heck? And why he talking to her like that? Obviously she lived there. Like she should be asking who the hell are you? Like she know you a police officer, but what you doing there? What are you doing here? Uh, I live here. You live here <laughs> in this neighborhood. Yes. Oh, because no, is he judging her because she black? Like, oh, wow, a black handicapped girl lives in this neighborhood? <laughs> problem, officer? Yes, there is a problem. We were received a report about a burglary and a robbery in this address. I need to come in and take a look around. Uh, I can assure you, everything is fine. Okay, then can I take a quick look inside and see if everything's okay? No. I'd rather you not. I promise you, everything's fine. I'm not asking you again. I need to come in. Please, uh, sir, guns make me nervous, and it looks like you're about to use it. I need to come in now. Stop it! What are you doing? Stop fighting! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hold up. What the heck? I would, did she got a cell phone? I'll call the cops. I'll call the cops and tell them that there's this cop coming in my house. Like Bring me. You don't have I told you to let me inside. You don't have a warrant. You can't come in here. Lisa, what the hell is going Hold on? Hold it here? right there. Uh, he came in. That's her dad. What you doing is talking about some holder right there, boy. Here with no reason. What did we do? Oh, you're not fooling me. I know what you're both doing here. You in the wheelchair acting as a decoy and you getting ready to rob the place. I'm arresting both of you for a what? robbery. Turn around. 
Give me your hands. Are you kidding me? Uh, just because they black. Because if it was a, a white person, person of his color, he would be like, oh, no, you're, you're fine, you're fine. It was a mistake. Like, <laughs> I just got out of the shower in my own home, and you're, and I'm being arrested? Officer, I highly suggest that you take these cuffs off of me right now if you know what's good for you. <laughs> Yeah, if you know what's good for you, I highly suggest you keep your mouth shut because everything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. He, Lisa. Look, you about, that officer about to lose his job because he uh, arresting the wrong person, you know, and he just came up into their house. He about to lose his job. Can you get my wallet off the table and show this man my photo ID, please? Don't move at all, Lisa. Officer, I'm telling you right now, I strongly suggest that you look inside my wallet. Why the hell would I do that? I'm He's he he must be like a, a police captain or something. And and this police officer don't even know. I bet you. Would you listen to me for a second? Just look inside. Don't move. Look. Look right there. You see the address there? So, you do live he here. He feels stupid. Look at Yes. My daughter and I lives here. I just bought this house about a month ago. Hey, well, this is obviously just a simple case of mistaken identity. I'm going to uncuff you now, and we'll call it a day. And please give me your... Look at him trying to act all happy and cool. He, pro he probably liked to get his head. Please don't. Please don't call my boss. Please don't let nobody know that this happened and that I did it. <laughs> You realize what you did to my daughter and I here today was pretty messed up? Don't make such a big deal of Look, it. Look, <laughs> now he's trying to act like it's no problem. Oh, don't make such a big deal of it. Boy, stop. You just don't want to get in trouble. Don't play the victim with me. I was just doing my job. That's all it was. Okay. What? Dad, no. It, it, what he did was wrong. He, we can't just let him go. It's okay, Lisa. You heard what the officer said. He has a job to do. Just like I'll be doing my job come Monday morning. What do you do for a living? I'm a part of the Mango City Park Council. <laughs> What's your function there? Look, he know he could get in trouble. Look, look, he looking scared. Look at him. <laughs> I'm the administrative chief of the city. Ah! The mayor and I and the rest of my colleagues, we make decisions on everything that has to do with the city. Anything from fire department to zone in to the police department, you know. All of the things that make the city run smooth. Really, you, you said you work with the police department, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, we make all the decisions for the, the police department as well. Well, then, how about if we just, what happened today between us, we just keep it there between us? Yeah. Nope. I'm sure you understand, just like you said a few minutes ago. He just doing his job. Nah, he just doing his job. Since you kept saying you just doing your job, he doing his job. You was doing your job. And I have to do my job. So come Monday morning, everything that happened here today will be brought up in our meeting. Uh, no, no, yeah. please don't. I'm, I beg of you, please no. Nope, nope, don't beg of him now. Um, this conversation is over. I'm asking you to leave. Uh, he looking like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Like he's scared now. He's scared out of his jeans, y'all. What's gonna happen to me? Oh my God. Oh my God. This was a good one, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos, and I'm out.